What's up, big fat failure test? We're Sparrow for five back, and I apologise that I haven't been able to do a commentary recently. College stuff. I've been ill, and my microphone on my computer isn't working, so I'm doing this on my iPod. See what the quality is like. I don't know what it's going to be like. I've never done a commentary on my iPod before. But the gameplay is will be three, maybe four wager matches, depending on how long I want to overrun for of Black Ops that were meant to be in my RTC. Today we're going to be talking about personality and developmental psychology. So as we mentioned in previous videos, personality types are type A, type B. Type A, extroverted, outgoing, introverted, are type B, and they keep themselves to themselves, more often than not. Again, this isn't 100% set in stone, but yes, type A personalities are more likely to be involved in team sports such as football, slash soccer, slash cricket, slash hockey, introverted, more likely to go into, I don't know, marathon running, 100 meter sprint, gymnastics, to a certain degree, tennis, so uh, singles tennis, because they've only got themselves to blame for when they lose, and what not. And so, type A people, type A personalities are extrinsically motivated, as we said before. They are more likely to want to win premiership titles and NBA championships and Super Bowl, stuff like that. Whereas intrinsically motivated people are more likely to go for personal bests. They want to set the fastest time for themselves that season. They don't want money, sponsorships and medals. So as we said, the need to achieve belongs with type A, the need to avoid failure is type B. Also, type A pe personalities, I keep saying people, I shouldn't, it's a type A personality, are more likely to show aggressive tendencies, whereas type B personalities are not. Now, for my take on this, and where I position myself, I'd say I fit quite comfortably into type B. But that's not true for every part of it. I'm introverted, yes. I'll keep myself to myself, yes. But I'm not intrinsically motivated. I don't want to go for personal bests to a degree. I also do. I want to have a decent kill to death ratio. I want to have a decent win loss ratio. And I want to have a nice win streak and kill streak. For Call of Duty, that is. Another reason why I'm not a Type B, 100%, is I play team sports. I play for a cricket team. That's about the only team sport I play at my age anymore. I used to play football. Actually, I never got into a football team, but that's a different story. Well, actually, yeah. It's because I showed Type A. Um, traits, which I'll mention in a minute. I don't have the need to avoid failure, I want to achieve. Now actually, back step. I want to be extrinsically motivated. Myself, like Aegis, would like to make it onto Machinima. And I'm in no state to do that at the moment. I've got to keep putting out content and whatnot, and proving myself getting more subscribers, but that that's for me to work with. Right now, I've got other things on my mind. So, I'd say I'm extrinsically motivated. I want to YouTube monies, in all fairness. There's some casual YouTubers. I don't want to be a casual YouTuber. I would actually like to make it semi-big at least. That could be taken the wrong way, but... Anyway, fuck it. Um, the reason I didn't get into the football team is I showed aggressive tendencies, simple as. I didn't even make it into a, a, a school football team because I kicked someone or because they pissed me off. I had anger, anger issues. For the most part, I was out there. I haven't been in a fight now for about three years. Very good for me. 
the last fight I got into. I broke someone's nose and that person got in more trouble than me. So I took it as a win. And I kind of stopped, I just stopped getting pissed off at everything. I found other ways of dealing with it. So that's personality types. Now the reason why we become these personality types is the interesting side of the argument, or the interesting side of the topic. And I have about 10 minutes to try and get into as much detail as possible. And so, generally, type A personalities, and people with type A personalities come from good parenting, having a strong childhood, strong relationship and attachment with their parents or caregiver. When I say parents, I do mean caregiver as well, because not everyone grows up with their official birth parents. And so it said type B personalities do not have such a good time growing up. Me, I fall into the type B side of things and this side. From what I remember, I didn't have a good relationship with my parents. I didn't get along with them. I wasn't shown a great deal of care and attention, but that was 19 years ago. And 19 years on, I'm in a good place. I will go into a bit more detail about this as well. But we'll finish off the basics first. So they had a strong attraction with their parents, strong attachment with their parents as well, whereas Type B didn't. And then this is where it becomes interesting. Adult relationships and love. This bit will be put at the end of the video. But there are three types of attachment. There's a secure attachment, an insecure avoidant attachment and an insecure resistant attachment. Now what these mean, uh, a secure attachment is pretty much simple. They, this is literally word for word from the textbook, refer to those who have harmonious and cooperative interaction with their parent or caregiver and when they feel anxious or nervous they will seek close bodily contact with their caregiver and are easily soothed although they may be reluctant to leave their caregiver's side. They are very comfortable with seeking social interaction and intimacy and a securely attached infant uses the caregiver as a secure base from which to explore and thus is able to function independently. So basically, it's simple enough to understand. Even from a very young age they're inquisitive, exploring and outgoing. This is from a very young, young age, as young as less than a year, so like five months, when they're crawling around. An insecure avoidant, anxious, is characterised by children who tend to avoid social interaction and intimacy with others, and in a strange situation they show little response to separation and will not seek the proximity of their caregiver. If the infant is picked up, he or she will show little or no tendency to cling or resist being put down. So they really well, don't care. They don't struggle when picked up. They don't cling on when they're being put down. And they will be happy to explore whether their caregiver is there or not. But they also have high levels of anxiousness and avoidant behaviour and become very angry and throw tantrums when their attachment needs are not fulfilled such as being fed, nappy changes, so on and so forth. So, Casa Bravo, if you're watching this, pay attention to your child's needs because it honestly does and truthfully does shape his social future. Anyone else that is thinking of having a child or is having a child, take these note words on board because they are fairly important. Insecure resistant, ambivalent, are characterised by those who seek and reject intimacy and social reactions. They don't know what they want really. They so 
a child will respond to a situation of separation from their caregiver with immediate and intense distress. However, on reunion, such ch child or children display conflicting desires for and against contact. <coughs> they may angrily resist being picked up while also trying other means to maintain proximity. They're, they're the awkward type of babies that do and don't want attention at the same time. The baby that you just can't satisfy and I would say you want to throw out of a window but that's a waste of human life and a waste of nine months of nagging and moaning from your other half. No offence if I have any fewer subscribers. <laughs> that's how it is. I'm sorry I'm, I'm not really a sexist person or anything like that. <coughs> it's just how I see it. <coughs> um, and <coughs> in terms of adult romantic behaviour and behaviour in a later childhood <coughs> let's see behaviour in a later childhood was this was done in 2006 so it's reasonably recent secure attachments are associated with positive outcomes less emotional independent no, less emotional dependence and higher achievement orientation as well as interpersonal harmony <coughs> so that means that basically they want to achieve high which goes back to the need to achieve which it all interlinks some of this stuff is sports psychology some of this is developmental psychology so it all links none of this is really applied but I can't think of anything to apply this to for video games. Well, I can, and I will try in a later video. I can do this as long as I want, really. Because psychology is such a deep and interesting topic, I want to be able to share it as much as I can. Um, avoidant attachment, so it's insecure avoidant, is related to later aggressiveness and generally negative effect. So basically, they're the aggressive side of type B personalities, insecure avoidant, whereas insecure resistant is associated with greater anxiety and withdrawn behaviour. So that is the um, introverted side of type B personalities. And according to this psychologist called Bowlby, Later relationships are likely to be a continuation of these attachment styles because the mother's behaviour creates an internal working model of relationships that leads the in infant to expect the same in later relationships. <coughs> and so, we've got the three types of um, attachment, so secure, avoidant and resistant, or avoidant. Oh, insecure, avoidant, insecure, resistant, there we go. Basically, secure adults find that their relationships are positive and that they trust and believe in enduring love. Insecure, avoidant adults are reasonably fearful of closeness and that they find that love is not lasting, nor do they need love for happiness. Insecure resistant adults are preoccupied by love. They find it easy to fall in love, but find it really difficult finding true love. Find their soulmate, their other half they, <coughs> that could be out there, but they don't know it. And for me, I fall in all three of those categories one way or another. I semi preoccupied by love, I want to be able to find a girlfriend, enjoy myself, go out to restaurants, go out to the pub, have a good time, you know? Um, I want that. I found, from my experience, the relationship went reasonably well, it was a positive relationship. I 
don't believe that it's necessary for happiness. Well, actually, that's a lie. I was very happy when I was with my girlfriend. But it's all difficult. I found it very difficult trusting her. And I did half believe that maybe that was just me being young and naive that we'd end up getting married one day. That might have just been young and naive Tom though. <laughs> I don't really know whether I fall in love easily. But we'll see. Um, what else do we have? Got about two minutes left, so we'll try and find some more topics. I've scribbled some stuff down. Um, oh yes, um, me and personality types. So let me see, I'm introverted, we know that for a fact, but I play team sports as I've mentioned. I however am very... I, I play Call of Duty with a team nine times out of ten and you know that's a team game to an extent. You whack a full party out there, you're a team. Simple as. But <coughs> I find it very difficult in um, social situations, as I believe I've mentioned with Did I mention it? Aha, uh -huh. that tend to avoid social interaction and intimacy. I, I do that. I'm I try and avoid contact avoid social situations wherever I can Just because it's not me I'll try and I always want to be part of that group but I just don't seem to be able to make it so that's my social insecurity I guess but at the same time I can so I'm sort of an insecure resistant as well as an insecure avoidant because insecure resistant, as I mentioned, both seek and reject intimacy and social reaction. So I want to be part of the, the group, but I just don't pluck up the courage and the confidence to actually put myself out there and say, I'm Tom, bang, like me. I don't have that ability. But as far as I'm aware, the commentary is winding down, so... This is Sprite One Four Five saying, "Well, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Remember Castle Bravo. Love your child. I wish you all the best. This is Sprite One Four Five wishing you failure turtles the best of days. Peace out, guys."